DeMarco, I'm told we have a little bit of news off the top. What's on your mind, man? Yeah, a little news. I've decided to retire from the game of football today. <laughs> That's not man. little, man. <laughs> That's not little. It's been great. It's been a great seven years of my career. I've been very um, blessed to mm. have had the coaching staffs and the players and the teammates that I've been fortunate enough to play with for the last seven years of my career. And um, it's been a long time thinking, the last year or two, and physically, mentally, emotionally. I think it's time for me to, you know, hang, hang it up as, as hard as it is. Um, just like I said, the fans has been great. Um, had a, a lot of great games and a lot of great teammates. So it's bittersweet, but I think for me it's the right timing for myself and my family moving forward. How do you know? I mean, I, I, it's got to be so tough internally. How do you know when it's the right time to walk away? I think you just wake up. I've always heard the saying, when you know, you know, and one day, you know, yep. that day will come. And for me, it's been the last year or two. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I've been constantly thinking about this, working out still in great shop, shape, feel great. And like I said, it's, it, it's time. It's time for me. Mm -hmm. I just woke up, you know, a couple weeks ago and it, and it started to burn and burn and trigger and, and it got deeper. So um, this morning I decided to call it, call it a career. What's the one thing that you know right off the bat that you're going to miss about the game? The camaraderie. I mean, there's nothing like a locker room, right? The locker room, the guys, guys you grind with, summers, and you get better with and you win a lot of great games and you, and you and sometimes you lose. So those, those moments, whether they're good or bad, I feel like those are the moments that I'll cherish the most. That locker room, there's nothing like it. Obviously, the coaching staffs, great, great players. Coach Garrett, my first year. Um, you know, Coach Malarkey, the past year, past two years. It's been great, but the, the teammates, my teammates, a lot of great friends, a lot of great memories. And, mm. you know, it, it's not over. The friendship's not over. It will con continue. As a reporter, we often get to break news about somebody that people might not know, but it was really special today yeah. when DeMarco told us this news that he was retiring because it wasn't something that any of us expected. Right. Uh, I mean, I just want to thank you, first of all, for letting us be a part of it. It was very special, but yeah. like, how emotional is this for you? It's very emotional. It, it, obviously getting a little choked up up here trying to keep composure, but um, I've, I've dealt with it and I've understood for me, moving forward, this is the best decision for my future. I have a four-year-old daughter, two-year-old, Little boy Parker and Savannah, I love you guys. There you go. <laughs> um, so I get to spend more time with them, get to travel, and hopefully get comfortable up here, here, up here with you guys. That's, That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> That's right, right after right. yesterday's show, you're feeling you're pretty good about retirement. Yeah. But you know, it, I've been through the situation. Yeah. I understand it when you retire. You, you just said it the right way, man. You know when it's time to walk away. You know when it's time because it takes so much out of you to prepare to get ready for a season. And I know a lot of fans probably, they see the finished product on Sunday, mm -hmm. but they don't see the preparation that you have to endure. Not only that, but the family. Miss time with the family and right. you've seen your kids are growing up. I mean, talk about that a little bit. It's a hard process, mentally, physically, and emotionally. It's a hard process. You mentioned it, not just Sundays, but August, spring, summer, all these times where you're working out, you're working so hard for 16 weeks yep. and obviously to get a chance to make the playoffs and win Super Bowls. but. For me, I take losses very hard. Mm. And after a loss, it was starting to weigh down on me a year ago mentally, and it was just kind of, it was a lot harder to get over those losses for me. Mm. And obviously, I've had a lot of success, won a bunch of games as a team, and it's great. It's great to do those things, but like you said, working out the hours that we spend away from our families. I have two little ones, I have a mm. beautiful wife. So for me, I want to have the chance to raise my family the right way, continue to be around the game. I love the game. It's been around my life since I was seven years old when I started playing football. So I'll continue to stay around the game as much as possible. But at the end of the day, I want to spend more time with my family and move on to some better, bigger and better things. All right. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Hell of a run.